Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, our precious pack, and welcome back once more to Vega Conflict. And as I said before, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the event going on today, which is the Alliance War. It is a PvP focused event. Well, it used to be PvP focused, now it's PvE focused because the development team altered how it how they wanted it to be, so it became just like every other event in the game, except for it provides PvP tech. The tech is mostly relevant, well actually it's completely relevant with the exception of the carriers because tier 8 exists. However, that isn't the point. Within the Alliance War you can get the following. Coins. Blood Amber. And from the prize stores you can get Blood Amber and Repair Tokens. The primary things you're going to want are going to be their pair tokens and blood amber. And if you can get high enough to get some of the coins, well, by all means, do so. They'll help you just a little bit, but don't put too much time into the event because it is still a tedious, grindy event. Other than that, there isn't much else to bring up. All you need to do is be in an alliance, unlock tier 2, and pick up some of the other stuff here. Blood amber and repair tokens again. Now, if you want all the repair tokens, you're going to have to go all the way to tier 4 to get all the way up to the level 4, which is the 8-hour repair tokens. But in turn, they will help you quite a bit when you need to repair and you're going back out and launching if you're farming something or anything like that. Now, you can save them and wait until the event is going to close the following day for the store, and then you can pick them all up to make them last just that little bit longer, and more or less collect as much as you possibly can. So... That's basically it, because I really don't have any prize recommendations, uh, unless people need a dreadnought to jump with, in which case then you're going to go with the profit, except for you can actually get it from, what, tier 3, okay, what about tier 2? Nope, tier 3 and above. So, if you need a jump ship, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to pick up the profit after unlocking at least tier 3. Due to how easy it is to unlock the tiers, you can use Insta Rancors with um, Victoria or Cobus, and you can use, inst well, not Insta Venoms, but 6-Minute Venoms, which are 1-Minute Venoms, actually. You need to correct the name. And you can farm for the outposts to collect everything you need that way. But, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. That's all I wanted to bring up. Okay, let's see. That was all for that. There was just one more thing I wanted to bring up. Tomorrow's Let's Chat is going to be focused around the crafting system and what I want to have done with it because I do think that there is something that could be done with it other than what we have now without actually affecting how it works as it is now, so it won't be changing in that regard, it'll be changing in an entirely different regard for the better of the game. It'll be something I want to push for, but I'm going to need the players backing for it, so... Tomorrow, after I talk about the video and stuff like that, what I want to do is I want to chat with all of you, get your ideas and feedback, and then I'm going to push for the idea. I'll explain it more tomorrow in the video and whatnot, but for now, be safe out there, Happy hunting, and as always, I'll see you later.